Now we have a situation where, let's say, you, you have a card, your opponent has a card, and uh, you can see by the reflection in your opponent's glasses that that card is a red face card. You can't tell which red face card, but you can definitely see the red and you can definitely see that it's, it's a face card. Okay, uh, And you want to know the probability that that card is either the jack or the queen of diamonds. So we can write that as the probability of jack of diamonds or queen of diamonds given that it's a red face card. Um, if you think about it a minute, it, you know that there are only six red face cards. Okay, The jack, queen, king of diamonds, the jack, queen, king of hearts. So there are only six red face cards. So it follows that the probability of uh, the jack of diamonds or queen of diamonds, given that it's a red face card, is two out of six or one third. Now there's a formula we have for a situation where you're given a condition. The probability of A given B is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. We'll see next time why that is. Uh, we didn't have time to get as deeply into it as I hoped. Uh, but we'll pick up on it and, uh, shortly. Okay, so uh, the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. What's the probability of A and B here? A is jack or queen of diamonds. B is red face card. Okay, probability of jack or queen of diamonds given red face card. So it's a probability of jack or queen of diamonds and red face card divided by the probability of a red face card. Okay, well, the probability of a jack or queen of diamonds and a red face card is, uh, and I think I've got a mistake here. Sorry, I thought I had a mistake and didn't. Probability of a jack or queen of diamonds and a red face card is, well, they're just two, okay? The jack and queen of diamonds are red face cards. There are two cards out of the 52 that are jack and queen of diamonds and red face cards. And there are six red face cards, so the probability of a red face card is 6 out of 52. If we divide 2 out of 52 by 6 out of 52, well, we invert the 6 out of 52, and uh, we end up multiplying 2 out of 52 times 52 out of 6, and that gives us uh, 2 divided by 6, 52's divide out, we end up with 2 over 6, and that's one third. So we get the correct result using this formula. Now we'll make more sense out of the formula and how to apply it uh, next time, but uh, there it is.